Hey, what's up, Fast Break Podcast? I'm back with another episode. And today we're going to be talking about how the Kings, they had a big problem. But then they changed it in like 24 hours. And that's with signing Kent Bazemore. That really solved this big problem. And I'll explain to you why in just a little bit. We're also going to talk about how the Kings are going to be as good as they were when they made the playoffs. Because they, I'll, I'll, I'll just explain to you guys why in just a little bit. Alright, first I'm going to start off with how the Kings, they had a big problem. Doesn't seem big, but it would be big in the end result. So, that problem was that Harrison Barnes and Gigan Murray couldn't hold the floor themselves. Well, I think they could, but it's not guaranteed that they're going to be healthy the whole season. So if they if they get, and if one of them gets injured, they really need that player that could step in. And I don't think that's going to be Trey Lyles. Like, he did good in the last season, but I feel like he can't really play the shooting forward position. So he would be good for Keegan Murray, but for Harrison Barnes, I feel like he's really been our savior. His name is Kent Paysmore. The Kings, he's coming back, and... Thank you for signing, re-signing him. I think he's a, he was a great player for us. He had a whole bunch of he went career numbers for him when he was on this for those 35 games. And he could shoot 39% from three. He averaged 10 points when he was here. Rebound the ball. He can he's a really good on-ball defender. I feel like to surround Jaren Fox and Sabonis with some more shooters, I feel like that's great to have off the bench. And Ken Bazemore, I'm really excited just to see him back on the back in the Kings uniform again. And just pumped to see him play. And the Kings are going to do amazing this season. I can feel it. And I can't just feel it, but I can see it. On paper, the Kings look like a playoff playing team. I've had debates with other people about if they're a playing or playoff team. I I'm, I'm on edge. I'm like in between because I feel like they're going to either make the play-in for sure or barely make the playoffs. And all the people I've talked to actually have been, oh yeah, the Kings are going to make the playoffs. And of course, all those people that I've asked are Kings fans, so I still have to get some more other people's perspective on the Kings, their play-in or playoff team. But I think they're kind mostly play-in. Because I feel like the Kings, one, well, they're the Kings, they're going to lose a little bit. And what really settles this is if the Kings start, if especially De'Aaron Fox, a lot of this is on De'Aaron Fox's shoulders. Because if De'Aaron Fox does not get off to a good start, then that is not good for the segment. Because this, the Kings need to start. Do, they, they, they need to start the season doing great. And I feel like that could happen with us hiring a new head coach, Mike Brown, and De'Aaron Fox on the team looking to get better at defense, and Malik Monk and Kevin Herter adding all those people to the team, I, and having Monster Sabonis for our first full season because we only had him for like 10 games last season. So... Yeah, that's why I think the Kings are going to absolutely do amazing this season. And also, I just want to end the Donovan Mitchell debates on, oh, Donovan Mitchell, oh, he's going to the Kings. He's not going to the Kings, guys. I'm sorry. Donovan Mitchell is not coming to the Kings. He's just not... He First of all, he's not a good fit for the Kings, and I don't know how we could get him without trading Darren Fox or DeBonis to Sabonis, and those are our two core players right now and I just can't see how we can get Donovan Mitchell. Even though it'd be a really good asset to bring to the team, I just Molly McNair is so dedicated to De'Aaron Fox and Demonte Sabonis and they've just surrounded them with shooters and great defenders and I feel like they, they wouldn't need someone like Donovan Mitchell. And plus we already and plus we already have Davion Mitchell. <laughs> yeah. Funny. And so I feel like the Kings are just in a great position this season. I feel like they could have a fantastic season. I feel like they're just going to do just really great. 
And guys, make sure to put in the comment section below because I will be hosting some Zoom meetings for the series that we are going to do with um, some special guests. Um, and if you want to join in and debate about that, make sure to comment down below what you what you think should what do you think will happen with the Sacramento Kings this offseason and if you think they're a playing team or a playoff team. So that's the main question of the day. Are the Kings a playing team or a playoff team or are they none of that? And also another thing that's going to be difficult for Mike Brown to choose during training camp is, in training camp is who is going to be your your 10 or 9 player. And I feel like it's going to be a really fun job for Mike Brown, but also very difficult to see them all compete and see what they get, what, what they're made of. And but my starting, my bench is, I'm I'm saying it's going to be Davion Mitchell at the point guard. At the shooting guard, we're going to have Malik Monk because I think Kevin Hurd is going to start the season. And at shooting forward, Terrence Davis, he had a great end of the season when he played like 30 points against the Pistons or something. I was at that game. He just looked fantastic. And power forward is going to be most likely Trey Lyles. And then I have center as Rashawn Holmes. I feel like even our bench looks really talented and that. And I feel like the, the Kings bench is going to make a big impact this season more than they did last season. Especially with signing Matthew Devladova. He's going to be a good third guard, third point guard guy. And he's going to be a great locker room person to be with. That's going to be it for this, today's episode, a little short mini episode. And I will see you guys next week. See ya.